Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with the winner Phil DeFreeze. How's it going? It's going good, man. Better than ever. Feeling good. You must be happy about your performance. Yeah, I'm over the moon. It's brilliant. Brilliant. So, you know, in the second round, I don't know if anyone told you, in the second round, right as Joe Rogan is basically saying you don't have the biggest amount of power, boom, one, two right on the button, you drop them. How does that feel? Yeah, Phil, come on. I mean, I know I can hit on the pads and things. Everyone says I'm a big hitter and sparring, but I've never hurt anyone like that before. I mean, that's a... That's the start of things to come, man, more of them in the future. Do you think now this will give you the confidence, like, okay, I got it, now I'm going to put it to work? Yeah, 100%, man. I know, I know there's power. I know I've got the power. But you got, you got to show that some Brits have some jiu-jitsu, too. You sunk one hook, kept position, hammer fist, hit his head, beat him down a little bit, and then put in the, the hooks and got the rear naked choke. Yeah, like, I wasn't rushing anything. I could hear Eric saying, you got two minutes. Don't rush it. I don't want to burn myself out as I sat there. And usually, like, I kind of I kind of surf the guys after flailing about, but all he just stayed there, so I went, I'll hit him a little bit. Yeah. And I went for the choke as, as the round was ending. Very good. Now you're making a little bit of money in the UFC. Are you going to maybe get some new sick kicks, some new vans or uh, oh, sandals these, or these anything? My lucky, these are my lucky shoes, man. Where I go, these go. I'll have these forever. Okay, you're, you're not the biggest heavyweight in the world. Do you feel comfortable in there in the 230 range? Um, or, you know, do you want to put on more size or do you want to cut down? Or how are you feeling in the heavyweight division? I'm trying to bulk up, but obviously the, the increased cardio I've been doing, the weight's been falling off us, but I do plan to build lean muscle. I, I've sort of me diet out. I've got like a strength and conditioning coaches. I want to go up, get, get to the top. Maybe go home for three weeks vacation, eat a lot of fish and chips. Yeah, man. That's what I love. That's what I like. Beer batter. That's what I like, man. All right. Well, anyone you think you might match up well with next in the UFC? Nah, I mean, I'll, I'll just do what I told, man. I'm not turned down in a fight. Whoever they say. I'll go with. I'm happy to be here on Fuel TV on the UFC on Fox 4 card. Um, I'm going to ask you, what do you think in the, the two main fights? Do you got any picks between Michida and Bader and um, your teammate Vera and Shogun? Well, like, like I've been saying in some other interviews, I, I think Bannon can take this fight. I felt his leg kicks and training, man, and they weren't very nice. I think if he can get some of them in early on, he can get the win. And uh, I mean, I, don't, I, I, I like Machida. I think he's interesting. I like his style, yeah. but Bane is such a, such a strong guy. He's a big athlete. But I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Machida. Really? I like his style. I like his style. All right, good. Well, yeah, I hope Vera is doing well. The fact that you just won and got a finish will probably add a little confidence being in the same camp. You spar with him a lot? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was my main sparring partner, really. As uh, Phil was fighting the South Boys, just coming on now. So me and Brian did a hell of a lot of rounds, man. I felt the power, man. Alliance MMA, guys, San Diego. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Go to ProMMANow.com. Thank you very much. Congrats. Thank you, man.